Yo, yo, yo! What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wingate TV. I am here with Find Love or Die Trying. I had to get through my intro real quick before I said that I spit all over the hole. Let me wipe y'all off real quick. Alright, you good. Alright, back with it. Alright, so this... This is a game. This is like a visual novel game. Like, like Doki Doki Literature Club. This is like a dating type thing I read about. I read the freaking Steam page. And these... Well, not this one in the middle. But these five girls are who we're trying to get with. You see this? Thing 2. I'm wearing a Thing 2 because I need to find my Thing 1. Because she's going to be my number 1. You get what I'm saying? Alright. Let's, let's get into this. Let's do this. Alright. That's me. Sleep. Hey! Don't just lie there. Get up! Just five more minutes. That sounds like me in the morning. You're the star of the show. You can't just sleep through it. Watch me. Fall right back to sleep. Oh, that's how you want to play? No, it's on. Did I just get karate chopped in the head? Ow! Oh, it's her. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Ow! Did you just hit me, girl? Like, I don't know who you think you doing that to. I ain't the one. Nah, I just got here. I just chased off the person who hit you. Who the, who the hell is going to believe that? Really, you should be thanking me. I'm pretty sure it was your bitch ass. No, I'm pretty sure that was you. What's with that look on your... So I get hit again. Now we're right back where we started. That's your fault. <sighs> Ow! Again. Yeah, really. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Do I really have to do this again? Did you just hit me? Wait, hold on. Didn't this just happen? Of course not. There's no way I hit you twice. Anyway, what was your name again? Oh, my name's... I can't even remember my name. Wait, what? I swear, I didn't even hit you that hard. Hmm, I thought you didn't hit me. Ah, bitch, huh? See, you already lying to me. I don't think I can trust you. So you did hit me. That's not important. Just try to remember. Try to re <laughs> try to remember. If you can't remember anything, we're both going to be in big trouble. Why is that? Tell me something. We can talk about why after. What was your name? It's... My name is... Oh, I, I think I get to type my name. Ooh, you know my name's got to be Sean. My name's Sean. It, it's Sean. And I'm the legend. I can't remember anything else, though. Wow. I should try hitting my accountant sometime. Don't do that. Because you won't hit the wrong person. You won't pay for it. Do you remember where we are? What you're doing here? No, I can't remember a thing. Everything's, like, so foggy. Alright, I can give you the rundown. You're on a reality TV show called Fine Love or Die Trying. Well, we could just call it Fine Love for the uninformed. I'm the producer. The name's Kat. The premise is that you, the suitor, are living with five beautiful women and one of them is your soulmate. I haven't even met them yet. How would you even know one of them is my soulmate? That's just how it is. Welcome to reality TV. Yeah, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do reality TV. You'll get to know two of the girls over the next six days, over three days with each of them. Then on the seventh day, you'll have to ask one of them to marry you at the final ceremony. That seems straightforward enough to me, and a little fast. Not so fast, partner. The girl you choose will be given a choice, whether or not they accept your proposal. If she says yes, you two will get to fade off into the sunset in a gold-plated yacht on the last day. Sounds too good to be true. Happily ever after. Forever. Except with that yacht. That one's a loner. If she says no... Um... Um... Can I address that her face and then the music stopping at the same time? That, that creeped me out. And then now there's music? Uh-oh. Well, we're going to have to kill you. You say that with a, a wink? You don't just say that and expect me to be okay. Wait, what? Killed? You're joking, right? 
Who is this? Now that's the reaction I wanted to see. Who the hell are you? I'm just so confused right now. Really? You just look like I took a shit in your cereal. What's going on? Who are you? Oh, where are my manners? The name's Damien. Damien Black. I'm the CEO of Royal Black Media, the biggest network for Battle Royal games on the planet. Battle Royal games? Like computer games? Have you been living under a rock stank ass armpit? Real people killing each other is in this season. What? Well, was in this season. I swear, I put in hard and honest work into making top of the line killing shows. And what do I get for it? So, we're trying a new kind of killing game. Spicing a little romance on top of the people who fart dreams and bake cakes out of rainbows. And that's where you come in. And hey, <laughs> that's not a bad deal, is it? You might find love or die. It's whatever. Just put on a good show for me. I excuse me, Mr. Black? We're just meeting all these people we don't know of. What is it, one? We're missing one of the aerial cameras for the backfields. Well, that's my cue. The intern ain't gonna shoot himself. Wait, what? Give him hell, Kit Kat. No, I didn't even think about that nickname. You don't need to tell me twice. Okay, so now... Look. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm getting the hell out of here. For starters, I can barely remember my own name, let alone if I already have it, partner. If that's what you're worried about, you didn't. And not for a lack of trying. So she just, she's saying I suck. How would you even know that? Cat sighed. Why are you sighing? Oh, it says something about you don't have a choice. Damien will kill you if you try to escape. Or if you tell any of the girls about the truth behind the show. The girls don't even know? They have no idea that your life is in danger. They just think it's some regular dating show about finding a soulmate called Fine Love. Well, they got half of it, right? If you tell any of them the truth, you won't just get yourself killed. You'll get them killed as well. How could you... I don't make the rules, Sean. I'm sorry. Okay, calm the hell down. You don't, you don't want it with me. Listen, I can put the paws up any time. I don't care if you're a girl. Really? You're a serious person, Sean. After yelling at me, you, you say that? Whatever. Most people would be a little happier to hear that they're alone in paradise with five beautiful women. What's there to worry about? Dying. Does she thought I forgot that? Oh, you know, the whole getting executed thing. The girls I asked says no the little bit with not remembering who the hell I even am. How about this? I need my show to be successful and run according to plan. And you want your memories back and presumably to leave the show alive. That depends on what the memories are. But yeah, if you can be a good suitor for my show, I hope you get your memories back. It's really not a bad deal. Most people would kill for a chance like this. You see how she said kill. Like, this thing is just about killing. Seriously, all you have to do is get to know five lo lovely women and ask one out. I'll be with you every step of the way, off camera. And before you know it, I'm sure you'll be having lots of fun. Who knows, you may even fall in love. He wouldn't be the first, I bet. But if you want to survive the show, I promise that I'll tell you everything you want to know. Picky promise. How does that sound? Uh, I don't have a choice. You heard what happens if I deny. Sounds like a deal. That's the spirit, sugar. Who knows? You might even be thanking me for this one day. We'll see about that. Yeah, time will tell. Trust me, I'll make sure this show will be the best time of your life. It'll be so great that after everything after will feel like a disappointment. That's a depressing way to look at it. What if I ended up with one of the girls after the show? Anyway, without further ado... We're just gonna bypass my question. Let's get started with the show. Follow me. I'll take you to where you'll meet our lovely contestants. Cat grabbed me by the hand, pulled me along. All right, dang. I don't like being touched with somebody I don't know. Remember, you can't tell anyone the truth about this dating game. No matter what, just smile. You got it? Got it. All right, we stepped out of the bar together. I didn't realize it at first but it was a bar in a small airplane. 
I guess I must have flown here. We walked until we saw a mansion in the distance. Wow, it's huge. I can't imagine how expensive this place is. You'd be surprised. Since we're all the way in some forgotten quarter of New Asia, the land becomes pretty cheap. Forgotten corner? So, these little key words that she's saying does not make me feel uncomfortable? Well, I mean, I'm already uncomfortable, but more like forgotten? New Asia? That's all he got to say is New Asia. He didn't say forgotten? Have you read the news in the past decade? Have you never read the news in the past decade? Memory loss, remember I can't remember shit. Oh yeah, right. Well, I sure hope you haven't forgotten how to talk to girls. Five, four, three, two, one. Wait, 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 what? Hold on, hold on, I'm not ready. We're starting? Not quite. To give the world top tier and enjoyment. To protect our ass from unemployment. To make the world believe in fate and love. We work like slaves for the shields above. We're the Brothers Five. One, two, it's gonna shake every time. Three, four, and five. Prepare to get the set ready. I want to start filming yesterday. Like, I don't need y'all. I didn't ask for your life story. Oh, yeah. I guess we're not important enough to finish our intros. Whose idea was it to work in the TV industry anyway? Like, whose freaking idea was it? We're gonna have to fight. This wouldn't have happened if we had just decided to be accountants. Wait by the mansion doors and thank me later. Now, get the hell out of my face. It's showtime, people. Let's get to work. Yeah, scurry off. Shoot. That's what she was saying to them. Here go me. I walk to the doors. Hey, Sean. Can you hear me? What the? Cat's voice boomed across the island, though she was nowhere in sight. Cat? I wasn't kidding when I said I'd be with you every step of the way. You thought I was lying. I was not lying. As long as you're on this island, it's an island. Well, I said it wrong. I'll be able to see, hear, and even talk to you. Just think of me as a cuter and sexier big brother. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound nearly as good as you think it does, so change it. Hey, how else could we film the show? You really want to meet the love of your life with a camera sticking out of your head? Good point. I, don't, I think I'd be dead if that was the case. Anyway, head on to the mansion already and go meet the girls. I recommend checking out the library, the kitchen, the game room, and the backyard. When great now judge, like, yeah, you gotta get the hint now. Like, I'm making it very easy for your bitch ass. From here on out, the cameras are rolling. Don't be stupid. I'll see you later, sweet cheeks. Cat out. Alright. Finally here. There's only one thing left to do. <laughs> open the door. They just give me the choice, like, I they should already open the door. Anybody home? My eyes were drawn to a girl wearing a white dress, pacing around the lobby. Hey, hey, what's up? Oh, whoa, I didn't see you there. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, it's really you, Sean. Excuse me, do, do we know each other? Like, I, I don't think I know you. That's me. How did you know my name? It hasn't been that long, has it? It's me, Yui. Yui Fushiku. Ah, I can't even say her last name. Hmm? Uh, yeah. With my memory loss, I don't remember a shit. We went to the same high school way back. Come again? Yeesh, you haven't changed one bit. Always forgetting everything important. Ugh. Wait, 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 wait. Calm down, calm down. Calm your freaking tits. I know how it sounds, but I've got amnesia, and I'm not lying. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't lie to your student council president. That's per jury. It's true, really. I, I I can't make this up. You really can't remember anything? Really, I wouldn't joke about this, promise. Oh. I can't believe you forgot. Wait, on second thought, that may be a good thing. How on earth could it be good to forget everything that's happened in my life up until now? You know, moving on from the past is the best way to live. And all that. Everyone has things from high school they'd rather forget, right? <laughs> yeah. Why was she laughing like that? I'm... It's good to see you, Sean. You haven't changed. It feels like just when we used to fool around back then. Whoa. 
pause, stop right there. What do you mean fool around? Like, like you gotta, you gotta elaborate me. Uh, fool around in like a family friendly sort of way. Pinky promise. Mm -hmm. It's good to see you too, Yui, even though I don't remember you at all. What brings you out here? Oh, you know, to be honest, dating apps or shows and all that aren't really my thing. So why the hell are you here? This is a show. But I saw that you were... Uh... So you followed me? What are you making me say? Um, besides that, welcome to the mansion. It's ginormous. I'll spare you from embarrassing yourself asking me, and I'll show you where my room is. Uh, wait a second, I haven't even cleaned it up yet. She rushed out before I even get in a word. Somehow, I get the sense that this has happened before. I guess I'll see her later. I should get back to exploring the house. Where to next? What's already popping out at me is the game room. The game room. You know me. You see me. As I walk into the game room, my eyes are drawn to a girl playing on a handheld game device. She already playing games, see? We might even get along right now, like, already. She looked deep in thought as her fingers moved and pressed buttons at lightning speed. Oh! New high score! Oh man, it's a shame I can't submit it. Oh, what's up, dude? Do you know what happened to the internet? Is her name Tara? I saw that. What? Ever since I came to this island, I haven't been able to get any signal at all. I'm literally going to die at this rate. You okay? Yeah, just calm yourself. T tell my followers they were the best. <laughs> okay, did she just fall to the floor? What does a person even do in this situation? Like, you just saw a girl faint. Are you okay? No worries, Sean. She'll be fine. Oh, hey, cat. What's up? We have to turn off all the internet to make sure no spoilers for the show get out. Tara's just a bit overdramatic about it. You'll get used to it. Yo! You tell me I'm being overdramatic and you literally sent us back into the Stone Age? With games and electricity and, and other things. But still... I was so excited to stream for everybody when I got here. Oh, she streams, huh? This might be a good person we can get along with. You're a streamer? Yes, sir, that I am. I'm mostly a variety game streamer, but I also stream in real life, too. And now I can't. Maybe you could just record things and post them later. You know, like normal YouTubers do. I guess that's what I'll have to do. But that's so last year. What? First of all, that's a diss. That's a diss. I know a lot of people stream now, but listen. I'm gonna get to streaming, okay? I gotta get everything set up. By the way, what's this whole show about? Wait, it's what? I honestly have no idea what I just got into regarding pretty much everything to do with this show. Then why are you here? You didn't even do a little bit of research before you decided to come here? Hey, hey, don't get in my face about this. From what I heard from Kat, you didn't either. Hey, amnesia and not doing a little bit of research are two different things. I forgot to do my due diligence, and you forgot your life. Same deal. It is not the same deal. Anyway, it's a dating show called Fine Love. Kat can explain the rules in more detail, but it's pretty much what you expect from any generic dating TV show. And my name's Sean. I'm what Cat calls the suitor, because I am just nice like that. Huh? So it's like a visual novel dating sim game, except I'm stuck in it rather than getting to play it myself? I stopped reading because it's like, she just mentioned basically what this game that I'm playing is about. Is she like Monica? Is she related to Monica? Because if she's self-aware, because yeah, who else would just say exactly what this is? I, I guess so. Well, since this is a game, I'm going to win it. I'm not sure that's the right way to approach dating, but look out, world. Tara's got it. And she always wins. Uh, Tara ran off with a fiery look in her eyes. I got no idea where she's headed. But who would? I guess there's nothing left to do here. I might as well head on over to the kitchen. You know what? I'm going to head to the kitchen. I'm pretty hungry. Alright, we got them again. Ooh. Ooh. One. These ribs are well done. 
Thank you, ma'am. They were supposed to be medium rare. Please remake them all before the hour is up. I knew we should just work in accounting. Why should I have to yell at him like that, though? Then I have just the opportunity for you, one. I just bought one of the neighborhood neighboring islands. I need someone to balance the books. Please have that finished by nightfall. And don't forget about the ribs, too. Uh, I take it back. I don't need this shit. The side dishes are magnificent, too. Keep it up, you diligent worker, you. Aw, oh, shucks. You're too kind. I don't get what you're complaining about, bro. Violet's amazing. She's even volunteering to help us lowly peons. Okay, her name's Violet. That's a that's a unique ass name. This soup is simply delightful. Good work, three. Th thank you, Violet. Man, she's a hundred times better when four than when four boss us around. I couldn't agree more, bro. One, if you insist on taking so long with the meatballs, perhaps we'll use your meatballs instead. That is violent as shit. Just kidding. No, upon further thought, you'll never need them anyway, so. Bruh. That's fucked up. <laughs> She's such an angel. Are we even talk about the same person? Like, do you know what she just said to me? And they out just like that. Hey there. Got a second to chat? Oh, cause I rolled in. Pardon me. I didn't even see you there. Oh, just, just one second. I've got to clean up the soup that one set on fire, fire earlier. Is that even possible? Anything's possible when you put your mind to it. That's that cliche shit. Evidently, the same is true if you lack a mind completely. Ah, public education. Just kidding. Hey, that was uncalled for. I heard that shit. Actually, we think about the same about you on a daily basis. I can confirm that. I wish Bob never had you guys. Get the hell out of my face. Yeah, they, they, they don't like him. Apologies for the delay. I'm finished now. I'm Violet. Violet Valentine. You know, it's it's funny you say Valentine, but Valentine's Day is just around the corner. So you know, this is this is my gift to y'all. The pleasure is yours, Sean. You already know who I am. I imagine each contestant does. Flying all the way out here for a whole week for a blind date. No one could be that intelligent. <laughs> Yo, that I that's fucked up, but it's true. She did not know shit about this. I do hope you're worthy of being the suitor. You'll find that courting a lady is a different sport than the other girls. So is she trying to say that she's the mature one, the more proper one? Alright, I, I see you. I see you. I see what you're dealing with. It's true. She's one of two daughters of the Valentine family. They're even richer than the royal black media. Alright, three, I heard that shit. Your pay is cut by 50%. Enjoy your even shittier instant noodles. First of all, there ain't nothing wrong with ramen noodles. Is it too late to go back to school? Like, did I fuck up? I am, how to say, fascinated. I'd like to see what makes you so special. You look fairly average to me. Bruh. You never say that to a man. Wow. Alright. Maybe I don't like you after all. I guess you'll be in for a su surprise. I do like a... Every, there's tree shakes and I jump. I don't know why. A deafening explosion blasted through the kitchen. Hmm? The spaghetti tonight will be... How to say... A little different. I hope you don't mind. You're not really putting one on the menu, right? Uh, yeah, we're both not saying anything. One? Oh, I guess she went to him. Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Looks like they'll be based in the kitchen for a while. I decided to head over to... The backyard. You know, it's pretty cold out, so... Yeah, I'm not going to the backyard yet. The library was like a library out of a movie. Grand, majestic... Don't think I don't see that picture right there. Hold on, so... Are y'all like the leaders of this place? Well, I know she's the producer. He's the... But... You wouldn't just have a picture like... Nah, there's something going on. They Are they related or something? Because how do you just have a picture like that? Mm, nah, I, I'm trying to think about this for a second. But you know, we'll move on. Nothing like your average library, which becomes a porn set after closing time. 
What? What library? Where is that library? Tell me where that's at because around here there's nothing like that. I took a few steps forward and noticed a girl with red hair at the back of the library. Ooh. Ooh. I, she got some. She. Okay. She what? got. She got this. Okay. She got some big. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. She was reading a magazine. Or so it seemed from first glance. If you craned your head a bit to the side, you could see another book hidden behind a magazine. A slash B testing after apocalypse. First edition by DB. I don't even know who that is. Hey, what are you reading? Uh oh, this? Just another elementary. I mean, an absolutely fetched truth T bomb, yeah. Uh, can you believe like this one celebrity would like date? Uh, excuse me. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Date another celebrity? I can't even. It's almost like they're people. Well, aren't they? I mean, I'm, I'm like celebrities are not different species. I can see what you're actually reading. You know, like you don't have to hide. Oh, oh, gosh, that's so embarrassing. Why would that be embarrassing? The book you're actually reading sounds a lot more interesting than what you just told me. Where I come from, people make fun of people who do what I do, I guess. To them, a library is just a place to film porn after closing time. What the hell? Where are these libraries at? Tell me. <clears throat> uh, oh, I'm Scarlet, by the way. You're Sean, correct? That's me. It's nice to meet you, Scarlet. Ew. It's nice to meet you too, Sean. Oh, I see she got her tongue out. Okay. Not interesting now, but you know, in different ways it, it might be. What do you mean by that? Alright, no, we're not gonna nope. I'm not saying any more about that. I'm curious, what are you actually reading? I thought you'd never ask. I mean I did ask, technically, because I already knew what you Here, let me show Ah Scarlet dropped the magazine and the book behind it on the floor, revealing a second magazine in her hands. Uh, oh. She ran and raced so fast, I didn't even have a chance to say anything more. She's that embarrassed about what she's reading? Damn. Guess there's not much left to do here. I'll head on to the backyard now. Wow. Calling this a backyard is like calling what happened to the Titanic a leak. The field goes farther than the eye can see. My eyes were quickly drawn to a girl running laps across the field. She's quick. She's getting closer and closer and... Oh, she's wearing a hat. She slid to a stop right in front of me. Howdy. I'm Allie. It's nice to meet you. You're Sean, right? That's... Ah, I don't really care. You care for a jog, though? That's real... That's real mean. How you don't care? I, I, I hope you don't mean that shit. I want to say no thanks after hearing that, but you know what? We're going for an adventure. Sure, that sounds... Alright, let's go! Uh, she grabbed my hand and pulled me with her neck break speed. Ah! She's so fast! It takes all I have just to keep in pace with her. The wind on my face feels nice though. For some reason, I feel like I've missed this. So we maybe used to run before. Actually, I don't think I've ever gone this fast. Come on, come on. Keep it up. We'll have you in tip top shape in no time, soldier. Whatever nice thoughts I had flowing in my head were thrown out completely by my newly assigned drill sergeant. I thought I signed up for a dating show, not a fitness show. Alright, alright. I'm starting to hit a comfortable pace now. Is that all you've got? Allie was widening the distance between us, with a smile on her face. Call me simple, but I started to run fast as I could. I'm like, alright, I'll show you what I got, homie. Ah! I gained more and more speed and watched as Allie slowly fell behind. Yeah, how you like me now, little homie? Wow, you're running even faster than my dad did when he left. He needs some milk! Who just says that openly like that? I've never met anyone in my life to say something like that. What the? I unconsciously slowed down. My face contorted with shock. In that single moment, she caught up and quickly surpassed me. I'm kidding, jeez. No need to take everything so seriously. I mean, that was a serious topic. That bastard died every before he ever got a chance to. Hey, okay. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Don't be. I killed him myself. Okay. 
The look on your face is hilarious. Don't worry so much, Sean. I'm kidding, kidding. Or am I? I felt my heart start to give out less from the running and more from the emotional roller coaster. Like, what the hell is your problem? Dot dot. We finished jogging a few minutes later. I'm completely out of breath. That was fun, Sean. <laughs> Let's run again sometime. I fell my I fell to my knees to catch my breath and watch as she walked away effortlessly. But you'll have to be faster than that to keep up with me, suitor. I laid on the grass, like an obese walrus gasping for air. Is this how I die? <sighs> I don't think I'd be worried about telling Allie the truth with how hard it is to breathe. <sighs> I think I'll live, at least for now. I roll into my back and relax for a moment. Alright, alright, enough messing around. Get up! If you're on the show, and you're not an underpaid grunt, come to the front of the mansion. I guess that includes me. I'll start heading over. That includes you too, Tara. I can see you playing, you know. You're not the boss of me. What have I gotten myself into? I mean, she's a producer, so you're gonna have to listen to her. Oh, here they all are. By the time I got there, Cat and the girls were surrounding a blackboard covered with scribbles and math equations. And that's why Sean is the perfect soulmate for each of you. I'm sorry, you just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't even mean anything. It's like the bullshit map they show on screen in a movie. Ah, you're late to the party, Sean. But you're just in time for the first alone time segment. Alone time segment? You can't find your soulmate without having a little alone time together. It's time to pick your first soulmate candidate, one of two lovely ladies you'll get to spend with time with this week. So without further ado, who's it going to be? Wait, I have to choose right now? I haven't even had the chance to really talk with any of them yet. Don't think of it that way. Think of it more like, well, who do you want to talk to the most right now? Oh, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I like to spend today's long time with, I already know who I have in mind. Not her, because you know, she'll just, I'll die. Now, Violet, that's this one, yeah. So, she, She's like the more proper, you know, expensive type of girl. And she says, I look fairly average to her. So we about to show her what we got. Violet. Look at her face. See, look, she, 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 she's going to love me. All right, we'll make it happen. Places, people. Let's have St Sean start in the mansion. And you know where to put Violet. Yes, ma'am. Give us a minute to set up the scene and then go find her. I think I have an idea where she will be. I had just gone outside of my mansion to find Violet when a white limousine drove up and stopped right in front of me. One stepped out from the driver's seat and walked towards me. Sean, good day. Please do enter. What's with the formal talk? Please, just get in the car, Sean. You already heard what she did to my bro. I really haven't. Like, what are you talking about? He opened a passenger drawer and ushered me inside. I shrugged and went inside. What's the worst that could happen on a death? Game, game show. We sat in silence as one drove me to what looked like some sort of fancy restaurant that escorted me inside. I told you she was that type of girl. Bunch your suitor. I trust my new butler brought you here safely? Yeah, he did. What's going on, Violet? Tell me something. I thought I would give you the chance to have some alone time, but the star of the show is all. She's very full of herself. Well, we got this. I am told this is what people do when they are courting. You're told. You don't know this? Have you ever been on a date before? Uh, of course I have. And I've read all the manuals on the subject. Reading manuals is not, you know, a face-to-face -face type of thing. I'll have you know, I study every book of the lusty New Asian Maid series and know them all by heart. Impressed, I'm sure. Uh, we're going we're gonna to try to make this girl happy. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Ooh, yeah. So, so nice. Oh, it was nothing. Look at her. Pardon my interruption. I brought your food. Please be seated, honored guests. Violet and I sat at a table in the center of the palace as one placed each dish onto the table one by one. He seemed to linger over the meatballs as he brought them over. Yeah, because you fucked up last time. I was there. Thank you, one. 
please don't hold yourself back. <laughs> don't think I will. This food looks incredible and probably worth more than my life. You're right on both counts, Sean. Wow, that means my life is worth nothing. I'm ecstatic you like the assortment. I planned it myself. You're a chef? You could say that. Why is her face like that? Like, is she embarrassed to say that? What do you mean? Anyway, t okay. Tell me more about yourself, Sean. There's not too much to say. Amnesia is one hell of a drug, if you know what I mean. You do not remember your past? Yeah, it's a bummer, right? Then rest assured, I will find the finest scientist in all the land to help you recover your memory when this is over. That, that actually would be great. Thanks, Violet. Think nothing of it. It's the duty of those who are more to give it back, is it not? Though, have you ever thought, perchance, that this is actually a blessing in disguise? What do you mean? Many of us would be happier not knowing what drags us down. That may be true, but I still need to know. You sound like the reference examples in the romance manuals. Consider me impressed. You know those manuals are just regular old fiction novels, right? <laughs> You're quite funny, Sean. And a minor trait to have. I like that. Well, you already know me. I get the job done in more ways than one. Uh, okay. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> anyway, you haven't told me about yourself, Violet. Who are you? And what do you do for fun? i like to know. Being the Seacon of the Valentines does not leave much time for fun, I'm afraid. Even on this show, I spend most of my waking hours managing the Valentines restaurant businesses. But I suppose, if I have a spell of time, I enjoy... baking. Instantly, this bake takes me back to Doki Doki Village Club. Natsuki also loved baking. I don't know why it took me to this, maybe because of the visual novel and like, I don't know, it just did. I don't get it. Why are you embarrassed by liking baking? Everyone has a hobby. Baking is sort of something of a servant hobby, according to my parents. When they found out I was enjoying that, well, they made sure to stop me from ever doing it again. With all the restaurant work. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? You know what? I do know of what, but what do you mean? Who cares what your parents think? Here on this island, a million miles out, they can't even stop you. How about we find some time together to bake up for lost time? <laughs> You're not funny. Listen, I see what he tried to do there. She laughed like a child. That would be, that would be wonderful, Sean. I'll make some time in my calendar for you. We spent the next few hours enjoying the finest meal that money could buy. Each course was better than the last. Just like each chapter of the lusty new age maid, according to Violet, something tells me that same applies to every moment I'll share together with her. Alright. Alright. I'm liking this. I stumbled back to my room and plopped onto my bed. I was just about to close my eyes when I heard a knock at the door. I shuffled over in a haze. Oh, it's Cat. Hey there, Sean. Sorry to bother you this late. It's alright. What's up, Cat? Don't mind me. Just gonna make myself real comfortable. Uh, on my couch? Well, it's like a love seat, I guess. Cat walked by. Oh, that's my bed! And comfortably sat herself on my bed. I thought there was a, it looked like a. Okay, you know, well, we know what it is now. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how much better your beds are compared to the staff. You think the ones actually working here will get treated nicely? I closed the door, then sat facing here on the opposite side of the bed. Yeah, it sounds like real torture was happening to y'all. I'm guessing you're not coming to my room at night to start a workers' union. Like, come on, tell me. I wonder, what would you want me to come into your room for instead? I got a lot of things I could say, but we're not going to say that. Because, you know, yeah, you know. I can think of a few things. Okay, never mind, I did say it. You think that five women would be enough for a person? You're incorrigible, Sean. Anyway, as the producer, I'm obliged to help you survive until the end of the show. Just until the end of the show? I'm heartbroken. Being your babysitter doesn't pay well enough to make it a long-term gig, so suck it up. I'll be checking in with you each night to let you know how you're doing and to give you some advice here and there. That's nice of you. Thanks, Cat. Well, to be honest, finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare, so don't thank me. Back to our topic. Our audiences really love your date with Violet today. You and Violet started out a little bit frosty, 
But by then, I think we saw you two warm up to each other a bit. Thank you? That said, we need something more than that if we're going to make the world believe she's your first soulmate candidate. So let's see some things up with some more competition. Love triangles. Possess. So tomorrow, I want you to find who your other soulmate candidate is and ask them out on a date. I'd rather go on a second date with Violet. Yeah, I already, I'm already knowing that we don't have a choice when she says to do things. Sounds good to me. Really? I would expect you to want to spend more time with Violet right away, especially considering what just happened. I get that, but at the end of the day, we need ratings, and those are coming from people who want to see love triangles and whatnot, right? That's exactly right. Without those ratings being high every day, they'll act to show, they'll act to show, and your life. I guess that makes sense in a messed up way. I'm surprised how well you took that. Is this not your first time on a left life or death killing dating show? Well, I've already pretty much considered that, you know, I have to do what you say. I've already pretty much taken that, you know. Can't say that it is, though. Well, that's pretty much what I need to tell you before tomorrow. It's getting late, and we both got big days tomorrow. How about we call it a night? Sounds good to me. If it's worth anything, I'm sorry. What are you saying I'm sorry for? You haven't done anything. You helped me, right? See, I'm already saying, like, these little, because... There's one time where I was talking about my if I had someone else, she sighed. Now she's saying I'm sorry. Like these little subtle hints tell me that something something's going on. Something happened. And maybe I know this girl. Cause like how do you just say I'm sorry for something that unless she's saying I'm sorry for it. I don't know. Like what is she saying I'm sorry for? I'll see you tomorrow. I don't have nothing to say about that. Good night, cat. She says I'm sorry and you don't wonder what for? She left my room, closing my door behind her. I went back to laying on my bed and closed my eyes. I kept thinking about Violet before I slept. Wait. There's music. Hey. 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 Yo. Finding love. Er. Die trying. That's a name, bruh. But what I'm saying, yeah. I don't like it, girl. You know, five girls on the island. Gonna meet them. Gonna speed them. Gonna spoil them. Gotta do that. Gotta screw her up. Alright, no. Alright. The sound of waves crashing against the shore. Wait, am I? He said he was thinking about her. What the hell is that? That noise in it. Hey. Hmm? I can hear a woman's voice call out to me within a dream. Okay, so maybe I'm dreaming about Violet. Wait, if I'm dreaming about Violet, why isn't it saying her name? Does, maybe I'm not dreaming about Violet. It said he was thinking about Violet, but I don't know, because why wouldn't it say Violet? Probably can't hear me in there, but I try to respond, but no words come out. Sean, promise me one thing. Don't forget. Don't you dare forget. You promised. Promise is unbreakable, right? That's what you told me. You, you promised, but you lied, didn't you? I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Now, was that Violet or was that freaking... I don't know. Like, who was I thinking about then? He said... <sighs> okay, I... Uh, my mind is just freaking rumbled right now. It's like, it's like that. Then you set the meat around 300 degrees for 40 minutes. Okay, I got it. Tara furiously scribbled down notes. Wait a minute, couldn't I just cook it for 600 degrees for 20 minutes? I mean, she's trying to use math for this, but I don't know if that works. That's not quite how this works, I'm afraid. But the math checks out. What's going on, you two? Oh, good morning, Sean. How do you do? I'm teaching Tara the proper way to prepare a rot, a, rot, a pot roast. So far, I say it's going well. Tara will be the one to prepare lunch today instead of me. Tara turned one of the dials on the stove as far as it would go to the right. And as the student, the student has surpassed the master. On second thought, maybe I'll prepare an alternative course. One moment, please. Oh, ye of little faith. You have no faith in me. Time for the moment of truth. Lunch is served. Let me taste this shit. Yeah, everybody's here. Everybody's here. Tara was nervously clapping, clasping her hands tight. While holding a phone, 
you know she's always holding that phone. Everybody's at the explanation point. Like, are they? They're all surprised. Even me. It's delicious. I, I did it. Oh my gosh. Tara did a little dance in celebration and gave Violet a high five. Sh should I become a food blogger? I'm a cooking savvy. This talent shouldn't be wasted. Psst. Hey, Violet. What is it, Sean? Is this what you cook, or is this what Tara cooked? Violet smiled and winked at me. Yeah, she definitely cooked this shit. I don't know what you're talking about. She sipped on her soup contently. I couldn't help but smile back at her. Damn, this was the best meal I've ever had. Granted, my memory only goes back about two days, but it counts for something, right? Alright, we had breakfast. Alright, we back out with, uh, yeah. Oh, there you are, Sean. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who's your other soulmate candidate. You remember, excuse me, oh my gosh, what we discussed yesterday, right? How could I forget? It's not like I've ever forgotten anything before, you know, except for everything else that happened in my life. Save the snark for whatever poor girl you end up seeing today. I don't need to hear that shit. Oh, that stings, though. That'll just be between your two soul candidates from here on out, so choose wisely. W wait, really? So if we don't get chosen, what are we supposed to do? Well, for starters, we're in a tropical paradise. Think of it as a vacation. Soulmates aren't real anyway, so it's a big deal. Uh, I sense something going on. Like, you got something to say? Do you have any opinion on that? Because uh, why you gotta face? Why you gotta make that face? They're not real. Oh boy, Sean, you might want to pick your second candidate, soulmate candidate, quick. Wait a minute, cat. Will we be splitting the group up after today? No, don't worry. You'll still be able to hang out together, and who knows where that'll go. Whew, good to know my battle plans will still come in handy. <laughs> I, I mean, friendship plans. Good to know I'll still see my new friends. Yes. So without further ado, Sean, who's the unlucky girl? Why do you have to say unlucky like you throw any disses at me like I won't beat you up? <laughs> we can fight. Alright, who are we going to pick, though? Um, now, see, we already kind of have a connection with Yui because... I guess we know her from back then, so we're, we're going to try to rekindle that flame. Yui. Yes! I made a bet with Ford that you choose Yui today. That's a bullshit lie. I think you would have done that no matter who I choose. Choose. Chose. Great choice, Sean. I knew I can count on you. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright. Let's get this show on the road. Alright, so now, how long has it been after this? The forest to the north of the house was as serene as it could be. With each step forward, I felt the soft earth give away beneath my feet, and the wind caressed my skin. That's a very uh, in-depth description there, guy. Green as far as the eye can see, and her, in a flowing white dress, standing in the middle of it all. Oh, hey there, Sean. What you doing all the way out here? I... I could ask you the same, but... We're going to be straightforward with this girl. I was looking for you, Yuri. Yuri. I said, Yuri, this is not Goku Goku Legend. It's too close together. That's why I keep saying it. I was hoping we could spend some time together. Then consider me the luckiest girl in the whole world. You had the cutest giggle. The kind that instantly put a smile on your face. Well, you found me now. Care to join me for a walk? I like that. Let's do this. Ooh, I like this. I like this. We started to walk down the forest path together. I couldn't help but be fascinated by her hair, flowing like water in the wind. I doubt you remember, but I'm from way out in the country. I grew up surrounded by animals, nature, you name it. It was just me and my grandma, my sisters, and alpacas, and my bunnies Bun and Bun Bun. <coughs> bun and Bun Bun. That's <laughs> and the chickens and too many farm animals to count, like you don't need to know all that. To answer your question from earlier, Nature texted me back home. I didn't answer. I didn't ask you a fucking question. What do you mean answer your question? Do you still live there? Yep. Wouldn't have it any other way. Though I had moved to the city for a bit. Way back then. You know, that's when I met you. How do we meet? Well, you know, one thing I hate about the city is that everyone's in a rush. People just walk by each other as if they're obstacles to get past. Instead of, well, people. I came to the city alone. 
didn't know left from right. And I got lost. I swear every building looks the same. You could say that again. I tried to ask people for directions to where I would live or where the school was, but no one would give me the time of day. Except for you. I helped you? Yeah, you didn't even know me, but you took the time to help me figure my way around. Gosh, I've never been so embarrassed in my whole life. Why were you embarrassed? You know, I'm shy. <laughs> you? We find out later that we went to the same high school, but we never talked too much after that. Well, I'm, I, I'm sorry about that. It's not your fault. Why did, why did it do that? Well, I'm happy I'm getting a second chance to get to know you better, Yui. I feel the same way, Sean. You're just like how I remember. Well, actually, the whole trying to date five girls at a time came out of nowhere, but life is full of surprises, I guess. It shouldn't be... Okay, that was loud as fuck in my ear. It shouldn't take long to remove them from the equation. What do you mean, remove them? Maybe I made a bad choice in picking her. Sorry, what did you say? Yeah, I, I couldn't hear you. Just a little joke. <laughs> I don't know if that's a joke. Uh, that's not a good joke. I was just saying, I'm so happy to see you again. Here's to the future. We spent the rest of the day taking in the nature and making up for the lost time. Apparently, I was always ending up in trouble back then. I guess not much has changed, huh? Something about you and me is so easy to open up. I found myself almost telling her the truth about the show several times. Even though I couldn't tell her the whole truth, I could tell her just enough of what was worrying me to make me feel at home and at ease. Whatever's getting you down, I'm sure it'll all be okay. No matter what, I'm on your side, Sean. Okay, well that, that is nice as shit, I feel. I was about to enter my room when I felt a familiar tap on my shoulder. Let me guess, it's Cat. Of course it is. You're always near me. You, you always know where I am. Shit like that. Hey there, Sean. You got a minute? I want to make Violet and Yui jealous. It'd be good for ratings. What? You're no fun. I didn't, well, I didn't, okay. Like, I didn't say, no, I don't want to do that. I was just like, what, because I was surprised. But anyway, she opened the door to my room and, and walked inside. I followed suit. I've got some good news. I'm all ears. Tell me. Tell me what's up. What you got to say? Turns out my strategy worked. We've gotten enough ratings to avoid early canning. Don't get me wrong. People loved it when you were Violet and were a baby ship. But now with Yui as some serious competition? Let's just say online threads were right. optimistic and united to downright murderous. Murderous. Why does she keep saying these freaking... Oh my gosh. Like, I'm seeing what you're doing. I'm glad I get to hear I live another day. For now, at least. But that'll change quickly if our viewers don't feel like your relationship with both of them are progressing. Cat laughed then took a seat on my bed. Again. Crossing your legs on my damn bed. And I'm pretty sure you have shoes on. Take them damn shoes off. You know, I'm curious about how you're feeling about Violet and Yui. Between those two, do you have a favorite? I have to choose a favorite. Even though we're rekindling that relationship with Yui, I'm, I, Violet's growing on me. I think I have a better connection with Violet right now. I don't know as much as I like about Violet just yet, but I know more than anything that I just keep wanting to learn more about her. I had a feeling you'd say that, and you're right to say that. We'll see, we'll, we'll see how things go with her. Somebody tell me you'll get a chance to hang out with her again tomorrow. Oh, you just, of course, you know everything. Anyway, that's it for today. Keep it up, and who knows? You might just be the first one to make it out of here. So how many times have you done is Well, actually, this isn't. But hold on. I, I mean, this is a new show, they said, but then the first one to make it out of here. They made it seem like they've done this show before. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Night, Sean. Good night, cat. She left my room, closing the door behind her. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, it's this dream thing again. Oh, come on. I see waves crash silently against the shore and dissolve to nothing before they reach my feet. This must be my dream again. She's next to me. I can't make out her face or even hear her voice, but I know it's her. The way pale, the pale moonlight dances in her hair is so nostalgic. Who is this? You look like you've seen a ghost, Sean. Yeah. Somehow I can't see your face, 
nor hear your voice, but I know it's you. I'm fine, so don't worry about it. I hear mom's voice speaking as if it were coming through an old cassette. Are you thinking about what's going on here now? Ten bucks that is better on this side. Out there, every day, there's a fight to stay alive. Here, at least there's the food, shelter, a place to call home, and most importantly, high speed and unlimited internet. I thought they said they turned off the internet. If they're, well, this is a dream. I don't know where they're, at. where are they even at actually. I just thought they were at the freaking island. And he had a dream. Of, I don't know. Like I don't get what's going on here. I just said, reach for a hand, and people that love you. I know. I love you too. I know how lucky I am to be here, but I still want to see the other side. Why? You wouldn't survive a day out there. The same goes for me. I'm not just talking shit on you. Because it's real. It's real life. Where things happen that aren't planned by some producer. So we are. Where living isn't just following a script. So we are on the island. Because she's talking about some producer. And that producer is Kat. Because Kat says she's the producer. So this has to be one of those girls. Obviously now. Now I got it. But who? I'd do anything for just a taste of it. We've been over this. I know. I'm, I'm just so tired of this. I. What the hell are we doing here, Sean? I. I don't know. I felt the same way she did, but there was nothing we could do. Not if we valued our lives. There's no escaping from here alive. We're living another day. That's what we're doing. But what are we living for? I sighed. You really want to see the other side that badly? Yes. I laughed. When she had that look in her eye, I knew there was no convincing her otherwise. Even if she had to go alone, she'd see it through. And I loved her for that. I guess you'll owe me ten bucks pretty soon. Why? What kind of bet did you make? She laughed. You'll be the judge of that. Okay, I'm so confused. Episode 3, Take a Chance. Yeah, uh... No! No! We're gonna stop it here. We're gonna stop it here because, yeah, I can't. I can't. We have to continue with this. But I'm having fun, so we're definitely going to get back to this. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.